So this time I go, Kever, you sing, Hallelujah, Kever, Hallelujah, Kever, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. That's Amharic from Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. I went to Ethiopia and I sang that song. He was a celebrity now one day now. <laughs> so I'm gonna sing you another one from Zulu Lens. This one is by my best friend, like my icon, the late Mira Makeba. It says it's a click song. It says everybody has their own path and their own way. Waja kutamani kazi ya mutu nani? Panyako yako, alafu shukuru tu. Ushana midaluo, ame prosper na intelligence. Kubali! Ukiwana ukuyu, ame explore business. Mbaka uyu business, unangara, wewe jaluo nani? Kubali! Wewe nilipe wa brain, waje ukuyu business na diya sara. Pesa, tiyo wako. Ukipato mingi, unenda kuhowa. Anyway. Inkwega lelela kutangu ngongo tuane Inkwega lelela kutangu ngongo tuane Sebe kwa bile ngatapa ya kutangu ngongo tuane Sebe, sebe ngubule ngatapa kutangu ngongo tuane Imagine if somebody is called ngongo Na uko huku mbali utamuja aje Hey! Ngongo ngongo I'm a cock or act from a cumacuza unga nakanga say. I'm a cock or I act from a cumacuza unga nazi. Nikama Mutana Casarica Gilazada, that's South Africa. Nebel, Zulu, and Osa. They are like this. Kamakikuna, Kimeru, Nakigine, that one. What are doing you? And you are no no when you want to love when you are no no tired you are no no when you want to love when you are no no tired you are no no jale you are no no tired you are no no jale you are no no tired I don't know where they go. It did it would have when you want it like somebody could keep in a dunga mood of one of the reasons why I sing in Luo is yes. because while what you are so ya kufikiri mimi ni Congolese. <laughs> or those of you are thinking that I'm Nigerian, yeah. make I did make it plenty of work for your head eh? mm -hmm. I did come up from this Kenya. Mm -hmm. The Luo kid gigi mm -hmm. No apology. <laughs> Sasa unaisa endelea. Ni endelea. <laughs> Thank Uli you. Snapping shot. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a thank cup you, shot. thank you, Ellen. You're and such you know, a people, gracious people think I'm a very serious person. I can be serious. I can way. see. Yes, uh, I can. I'm pleasantly surprised. Now, yeah. <laughs> welcome back again. This is her standards. We are in a celebratory mood today. We have with us uh, Ellen Akoth Mtawali. She yeah. does not need any introduction again. <laughs> But you can still be part and parcel of this conversation. Use the hashtag her standards, hit us up at KTN Home across all platforms, or you can talk to me at Queenie Mbori on Instagram and Facebook and Queenie Saina on Twitter. This is one of the most interesting guests we've had, and I'm I just take that as a compliment. <laughs> Repeat, rewind, encore, encore. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Ellen. Yeah. You sing mostly in African languages. Yes. Yes. Why is that? Yes. Why do I sing in African yes. languages? I went to America one day, like again, I will yeah. say. I went to America. When I go to America, hmm. and, and I ask this question, who are you? Hmm. 
nimefanya task of project fame yeah. one season one yes. season two yes. ninaenda kufanya season three love and lisa who are you mm-hmm. hey mm-hmm. yo ulikula mimi kichwa mm-hmm. but the good news is when i got there i tell you people outside love africa so when i sang my kizungu which i thought was kizungu was not kizungu for them it was something else but until i went into the luo mother tongue yeah. and sang mm-hmm. i went to the whatever the other languages from africa and told them the meaning i tell you i caught the attention and as i, I was done i mean they don't understand but no, just for my they breeze, appreciated they dig the, in the, and the, appreciate the african art. music yeah. i said you know what a prophet is not without honor yeah. except in his own country mm. the way we appreciate music here and the way they appreciate music outside africa is different mm. And then we were all dressed in this African regalia. Mm-hmm. We go and do f- what are they called flash mobs. Mm. We just go on a parking like this and then yeah. we do a flash mob. Mm. I tell you the round of applause. Even people who are so far they will just clap for you. Kind Doesn't of. happen in Africa. Yeah. I did one once kwa pale kwa parking and laugh once once you pick him a coffee. Ya kazi gani? I know. But you do that in America, yeah. we would do that as soon as we finish or when we get into a restaurant. Mm. And we just go Alafu naza kuimba na sikwenya bagiti wa ba ndio but yet out there even the kenyans out there celebrate as much more than if they were here at home we've been accused of yes. uh, promoting <coughs> songs from i know songs from other regions in my show from, even in my show yeah. i'm there but you can hear people singing english just english just english i'm like mm. yeah we've sung english and spoken english yeah. ever since it's about time that yeah. we, we actually need to also learn how to yeah to sell our music out there mm. And I'm guilty of the same uh, because you ask me how much is out there on the digital platform. Yeah. It's is I'm about to, I'm about I'm about to ask you that. They raise but 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 some I from, from a Nigerian. Yeah. Yeah, who came to recently teach us on music business. His name is Namdi <coughs> Namdi <coughs> Ogbona. Yes. He told me Helen, you are doing well now this music or yours. But I can't see it in Spotify. <laughs> I can't see it on whatever the platform that I want. Mm, I, I, it was I about time uh, so that you can invest in me so that I can be able to spill it off over across. 150 places so that people you are a person that people cherish in this country. Who is that person that you want to sing with to share a platform with today? From within the country? Mm, within and without. Within and without. Mm. Mm. Like, uh, if like now mm. in my in my show mm. we have Sol, Pastor Apostle Soli Malango and we had Prophet Keke mm-hmm. those two guys I would love to meet them <laughs> they've, they've come and they've honored me yeah. by actually showing in my show uh, coming in um, online and powering the lives of these people I've seen the, I've seen how humble Prophet Keke is and how gifted he is miss mm. jona sijawahi ona prophet wana kuanga wengi sana lakini sijawahi ona prophet anakuambia everything some of the students he prophesied too i'm like oh my gosh this now this is a musician's life taken to the next level he's a singer a performer but i tell you what the god uses him to articulate things to change people's lives nice, yeah. i can't wait to meet solim alam mm. i can't wait to meet him because the pastor as well see there that God puts these people in very very high right. you know yes, yes, yeah. um places that connect with him of places of leadership and 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 I've seen that live through my life because I don't think when I when I was young if you asked me whether I was going to be a leader I would I would you are not too yeah, sure about it, that it was nothing yeah. close to me <laughs> yeah. but now the responsibility that I have yeah. yesterday I went to TikTok my daughter said you have not be in in all these social media not on TikTok <laughs> so you on TikTok so she laughed on me yeah. she laughed at me and told me mom you must be on, on TikTok, TikTok. So she yeah. signed me in I didn't even know how she did that uh-huh. and then I went on WhatsApp uh-huh. and I said ladies and gentlemen my daughter has signed me up on, on TikTok, TikTok. Uh-huh. she is my first follower <laughs> can we get 1000 likes you did 
I should read for you. How what many I have now. how many followers do you have? My daughter have? felt badly, said, I'm the one who initiated yeah, this. Yeah. But now I'm ashamed. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. I said, Oh my god, Sasa will answer But I was like, Okay, help me God so I don't get so addicted, uh -huh. but at least use it for the right reasons. Today when I was looking at myself, mm -hmm. I know I'm very famous on Facebook. <laughs> I'm very famous on Facebook, but not at the rate. Uh -huh. So this is day two of TikTok. I'm already at 1600 likes. Oh yeah, 1600 my god. Plus. I'm already at 477 followers. Ooh. I'm like, oh yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah. There's one thing that just made me laugh mm. because I had two videos. Mm. One that I just did nothing and it has 3240 <laughs> views. Another one that I just did of me playing what we call instrument pella. Mm. So how do you do that? Oh, it's just your mouth. You you just play the trumpet. Okay. This is the resonator, oh, okay. so it taps the sound. Okay. So it's your voice. It's like. But then you you let sound come out from your mouth on the side. So. Actually, take it's your voice. Oh. Actually, then you imitate the trumpet. When I'm watching the funny voice, it has 15,000 points. I'm like, I'm like, I'm I'm like, I'm I'm like, I'm I'm like, I'm I'm like, i I'm hoping that I'm able to use platforms like this, not just to joke, but to yeah, empower the people. Yeah. When Ellen is not singing, yes. or is not interacting with music, hey, hey, what does she do? 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 What does she I was a karate black belt. Nili po wacha karate. Do you know my own take a dog as we met together and the gani? Nikaza kusema si putacho tells me. Nili po replace nani? Nyama zote si vitokele zani. Masuli zote ambayo nili po masuli nili padli sa jina. Nikaza kusema tu na juu tama tu nili po masuli. Nakini zato tu konyama. Nyama 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 nyama. I started walking after now I just relaxed on the black belt. Miss Wallis I tell you, I don't know. You think like obese is my middle name. Na village I go to Konga Damu Nani. Hey, I Konga to come. Na zema pas. So. I was a karateka, so once in a while that helps me to make some of those things. You know, once you do that skill, yeah. your body just becomes like that. It's such injury. Maybe never go party a kid in the kidanzuki punch. Kidanzuki. Like you didn't realize, more than the conga now, Mutulani. You can do little only damn. Hey, around the middle. People don't know that I lived in Madari. Apo area Madari in the Likwa area. That's a water kikosana. It didn't create a hell and banner. Name came to Helen, I could come a bouncer. But you're a green gig one, and I need one. You can't even be that. You could have one, and I said, You know, you can't ramble me here. The Funga bed for Kitua. He's a Funga Semanania letter. Narusha, Sha, Wavijana, Wana, Kimbiara, Sema, Madam, Madam. To make one and in any other, you could have any, in any, and in any, and any, so now come in, you could bouncer. Now, much was a green. So bis Nuguzangu yote lipotea wakati nyama zilikuja. I stopped karate. Hey, and something happened. I just found myself. What a figure nine, I'm a figure eight. It is to get me the figure B. What a figure B go. Tumbo inaongoza. Material. Nisasema tetote hapu. Inaongoza. Lakini mungu kusiju ni mungu wongo. Nini nini uli nilikufanya nini nani. Mini kikeuka utasema mdugu yangu fungeli macho. Kule kwenye tu sikachukua silasa. Ha! Nisi nisi tasema. Nusa mungu sijaribike kuniangalia nyuma matafu thani. Mungu sijaribu. Tio mini mjaluo. Nakini na shepi ya mungu kuyo. Mungu na jikubari nani. 
I think the stories are too much. We need a part two of this interview. But before we let you go, Ellen, Why? please look at the camera. Tell us where we can find you. And okay. on top of that, please, uh, three tips for okay. Kenyan singers. Especially, uh, there's, there's been a lot of battle between oh, Nani and Naimba gospel, Nani and Naimba yes. secular. Yes. Yeah, just give them three tips and then okay. we wind up. But we'll try and see if we can get a part two of this conversation. Mm. I think we are not done. Right. Don't you worry. <laughs> yeah. Those of you who are worried about me, I can be serious if I want to. Remember, I was a principal tasker project. Yeah. So I can be serious if I choose to. I have three things to tell you before I tell you how to find me. Point number one, don't go into music for the money. You'll be disappointed. Two, today is a day for networks. Please do not lose opportunities for networks. Even if you're just going to sit in in a meeting, go there. You might meet somebody who could be somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who might actually lead you to your destiny. Point number three, nurture your gift. Don't stop at where you are at. You know what? They say the sky is the limit. But you know what? It's also a limitation to imitate. Don't just stop at imitation because it's a limitation. Find your way to become unique, just like the way my eyes are green. Get unique sister, get unique brother. Don't stop at where you are at now. You are as good as your last dance. Now to find me, enter YouTube. Tafuta Ellen Mtawali. Niko tuna 150 subscribers. Si unijaze yo nini? Jaza jaza hapo nani? Konga konga but at least dipateko 300. Twitter leo wame ni proof kwamba on Twitter neza kujulikana. YouTube, Jay. I also want to tell you that it's not just about YouTube and CMOs and crying about CMOs, etc. The information highway is open. WWW was open for you. Do something about your digital space to ensure that your music is all over. Get to people who can actually know. When I talk about money, get to people who talk to me. I'll show you how to do this so that on the digital platform, you can still be able to earn if somebody streams your music. You can still be able to earn if they download your music. So don't be discouraged. There's still hope beyond what we see right now. <clears throat> you can also find me at H Mtawali on Instagram, at H Mtawali on TikTok. You can find me at Helen Akot Mtawali on Facebook. Also find me at Helen, not at, but you can actually Helen Mtawali on Facebook. Helen Akot Mtawali on Facebook. Uh, linked in, you also check me out as Helen Mtawali. Now, this is what I want to tell you. Much as people take advantage of the social media, also take advantage. Don't go to social media to just interact and talk. Find ways of making money. Well, you heard that from the musical genius, Helen Akoth Mtawali. You are as good as your last performance and many more tips. I'm sure you want to reach out to us. If you have any comments, feedback, you need help in progressing your musical life, working on yourself as an artist, we are available at KT on Home, across all social media platforms, or you can talk to me at Quintambori Facebook, Instagram, and Quintambori on Twitter. I'm mm -hmm. also available as Quintambori on LinkedIn. Mm. Well, that marks the end of uh, today's show, but before we go away, we have more performances from uh, Afrizo Bound. Afrizo is African Zone, yes. is a short form mm -hmm. of African Zone. Till next time, take care of yourself, be safe, and have a musical week. Bye for now. Aye! Oh, 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 oh,
Woman of the Week is Dr. Jemima Kariuki. Dr. Kariuki, an obstetrician gynecologist in Kenya, has stood to be celebrated for her selfless service towards expectant mothers during the COVID-19 pandemic. She is a resident doctor of obstetrics and gynecology at Kenyatta National Hospital at the University of Nairobi. Dr. Kariuki is the recipient of the 2021 Global Health Award by the World Health Organization in recognition for her contribution to advancing global health. This is a major win not only for her but for the women fraternity globally. During the COVID-19 pandemic, she organized an ambulance service which enabled pregnant women to access maternity care. Dr. Kariuki is the founder of Wheels for Life, a free ambulance service for mothers in labor after dark. The program has a call center which receives calls from pregnant mothers in duress, offering them services ranging from having a doctor talk to them, encouraging them through the pregnancy journey, or providing an ambulance to take them to a clinic. On 23rd November 2020, Dr. Kariuki was on the BBC's list of the 100 most influential women of the year and on May 25th, 2021, she received WHO Director General's Award for Global Health 2021. Dr. Kariuki says at a personal level, the award inspires her to forge to greater heights and she would like to see herself growing and pushing to spearhead the establishment of many such initiatives. Dr. Kariuki looks forward to helping as many pregnant mothers to bring their babies safely into the world. Her next focus is addressing the issue of teenage pregnancies. She says it breaks her heart to see teenage girls become mothers out of sexual abuse, early sexual debut, and other vices. And she would like to spearhead a movement that can deal with these issues.